All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm joined by one of the best right backs in the Premier League right now, Arsenal player Hector Bellerin. Bellerin, thank you. I call you Bellerin because football yeah, has always got my surname. That's fine, mate. Hector, that's fine. thanks for joining me, mate. I've got yeah, some man. questions for you. Yeah, uh, I'm ready. I've got some of my questions, I've got some questions from Twitter. We'll go okay. through them. All right. First question Who's your favourite player of all time? Favourite player of all time, I have to say, I uh, really used, used to enjoy Ronaldinho when he was at Barcelona, yeah, you know. Yeah. It's more. You know, I know Maradona and all the stuff like that. But as a young player and young kid, the one I used to enjoy the most was Ronaldinho. So great shout! It's gonna be my choice. Okay, uh, who's your favourite player to play with at Arsenal? Obviously, you've got a great squad there. Is there one player you like linking up with the most? Mm, yeah, I think probably Santi Cazorla. You know, okay. I think. He's that kind of player that when you give him the ball, he's always going to give you back the right kind of ball. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's just, it's just a joy to train with him every day. And for me, it's going to be him, the player that, you know, I would have next to me to link up there. OK. Uh, next question. I, I think you knew this one was coming. Now, I did a video recently with Theo Walcott, yeah. and he said, I asked him, who's faster, you or Bellerin? And he said, in a flat out race, I'd beat him every time. That's it. That were his words, right? That his words. Yeah. Have you got anything to say back to Theo? I mean, we've never had the flat out race. Why not? We always, we always try to say, oh, we've got to do it one day, but we never really do it, you know? The only thing I can say is, you know, we do a test, numbers come out, and then my numbers are quicker, <laughs> are quicker than his. It's a numbers game. You know, so, I mean, what can I so say? So you're saying you're faster then, you're well, right. yeah. Okay, fair <laughs> yeah. play. Um, we're at a Call of Duty event. Yeah. Are you a big Call of Duty fan? I am a big Call of Duty fan. You liking the new game? Yeah, I love it. It's good, isn't it? I'm really yeah, enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your favourite thing about Call of Duty? Because obviously, a lot of guys, like, you come out of playing football all day, it's, yeah. not, it's nice to have a bit of a change and play a game that's completely different to what you yeah. do. Yeah, I mean, my love for COD, for COD started when I first came to England, actually, you know, right. and uh, new country, mm, don't really know what to do, what what people do at that time, so I was just, oh, let me buy COD. Yeah. And a lot of people in the team started getting into it, and since then, you know, it's been like four or five years that I've been playing, and I mean, it's very nice now to be part of the family. Yeah. You know? are, you, are you the best COD player at Arsenal? I mean, now in the first team squad, I don't think there's many people that play, you know. Um, okay. But um, when we were in the under 21s, uh, I could tell you we still have parties like playing like 20 of us, you know. And I mean, the foreigners against the English ones, and then <laughs> really? we'll come in the dressing room and everyone will be like <laughs> fighting about it, you know. Yeah. And it's to be really, really nice. I mean, I miss those days in that in that sense, but. Um, I mean, you moved on to better yeah, things. Exactly. Moved on to better things. Yeah. Can't complain. Definitely. Um, you're Spanish, obviously. Yeah. Euros are coming up. Do you think yeah. Spain could could win it? Definitely, definitely. I mean, um, even though in the in the World Cup, you know, we didn't we didn't per, well, Spain didn't perform the way it should have. I mean. There's been a change in the generation, and yeah. but I think the players that are stepping up are, are on a really, really good level, and um, why not? We could be up there, definitely. Hopefully, England do that, that's what I'm going to say. Well, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Um, okay, what competition would you love to win the most with Arsenal? Premier League, Champions League, or the FA Cup? Because you could win the FA Cup for the third year in yeah. a row, it would be pretty epic. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be really nice, but... And the Champions League obviously is, it means you're the best team in Europe, you know, but the fact that Premier League is um, what you do every single week, right? And it's about consistency, it's about, being, about playing good regularly, and I think that's what really shows how good, how good the team is, you know? So for me, Premier League probably has got a bit more of um, worth to say in a way. You're up there, you've got every chance. Um, what's your favourite TV show to watch? Are you a Netflix guy? Uh, I'm a Netflix guy yeah. and um, I'm not going to say what I'm watching right now because then people will start spoiling it on Twitter because it uh, happened yeah, to me already. That's a good tactic mate. <laughs> but, okay, what have you watched before? But then? you know, I finished the first season of The, um, the Man in the High Castle. I don't know if you heard oh, about man, it. Is it it's, yeah, it's from Amazon um, and it's, uh, it's very good mate. I don't know if... Uh, it's very different from right. anything you can think of, but um, I highly recommend it. I'm going to check it out. Yeah, you should it's a good check recommendation. It out. Yeah. Um, what advice would you give to someone watching that wants to work on their pace? Because pace is a big part of your game. Yep. How can someone get faster? Okay, first of all, what I'm going to say is you either born fast or you're not. Okay. I wasn't. I wasn't. That, that's to start with. <laughs> you're born with one kind of cells or a different yeah. kind of cells, yeah. right? But once you there you've got to work obviously in your power especially in your legs on your core 
And um, but I think for me, what I've done the most is a lot of um, squatting right. and also like single leg kind of strength, yeah. you know, because that's uh, is stepping up a level. But we've had. Uh, um, I mean, I started in the under 21s when I was like 18 years old to doing a lot of strength work, especially in my legs. And now in the first team, we, we're starting doing it um, at a very high level as well. So I think that that's very important. But um, what I'm going to say is, if you've always been really slow, you can get quicker, but you're not going to get... <laughs> I'm never going to be better in fast. Okay, I don't yeah. think so, mate. <laughs> All right, I'll leave the fast pace to you, mate. Um, I've got some questions from Twitter now. Yeah. Uh, Cole Fogel says, are you going to pull a bail and become a forward? Because obviously bail started as a left back, had a lot of pace, moved yeah. forward. You like to you like to attack, don't you? I mean, I've done an inverse bail, you know, like when oh, I was at Barcelona, I used to be a forward and now I'm playing as a fullback, you know, back. but um, I love I used to love playing as a winger and at the beginning when I started playing as a right back obviously because it wasn't my normal position I was a bit worried about it you know but since like let's say two years ago I really really started enjoying um, playing in that position you know because as you're a forward and then they tell you I've got to play as a defender you're like yeah what's happening you know but then you get um, the good things and for example I think the fact that you can also like help the team yeah you know, get a clean sheet, for example. That's a feeling that forwards don't really get, you yeah. know? And I think that that's great as well to help that team in a and way. If you're so, an attacking fullback, you yeah, you can anyway. get the best of both, right? These days, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay, next question. This is a funny one. As a gold says, how long does it take you to do your hair? Because your hair is amazing, all, and it stays amazing all game long. <laughs> so he said, I've often wondered that. Some footballers, you see, their hair just doesn't move an inch. They're running around, they're getting sweaty. How do you keep it still? Do you know what? I don't really take that long doing it up, you know? They always say that. There's no, a secret, I'm sure I'm there's a secret not, product you'll use. No yeah, one yeah there is, there, there's a secret product <laughs> going around the dressing room, you know, that a few of us use, but I don't even take that long. But yeah, sometimes I'm surprised as well that I finish the game and the hair's still looking nice. It just stays there. Yeah. Fair play to you, mate. You've got the pace, you've got the hair jeans. <laughs> um, Marcus Bonser says, how long have you lived in England? Because you don't have a strong Spanish accent. It's true, you, you speak really, really good English. Thank you. And you, I think, was it 2011 you came here? Yeah. It's, I mean, that, do you speak any English when you moved here? Well, I had a normal school level. Okay. But I gotta say, when I first came, I, it was very, very hard to understand people. But I mean, I think it's a good thing to kind of, not just adapt to the language, but to the accent as well. I mean, if yeah, you can yeah. do it, why not? You know, exactly. for some people it's hard. Yeah. I mean, we have people like Nacho Monreal, that the accent is a bit of a trouble, right, okay. <laughs> you exactly. know? Really I don't know if you've seen it in the interview sometimes, I think it's pretty funny, but his English <laughs> is really, really, really good. I mean, he can speak and his grammar vocabulary is very good, but right. his accent is a bit hard. But for me, it was easier to make it, so. Yeah, I mean, I mean I remember when I met Chesney, he's got a really, like, he sounds yeah. like his English a lot yeah. of the time. Yeah. You think, wow, the accent's incredible. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's great. Um, what music do you listen to before a game? This is from Philips2131. Um, well, we kind of um, put like a playlist uh, um, that the whole team, you know, but when I listen to mine, I probably listen to something or like Future or kind of where something that can get you pumped up, yeah. you know, because I like listening to Drake, but I don't think you could let it not be for a game, mate. That's after a loss. <laughs> to my list, yeah, <laughs> probably. So, so yeah, that's the kind of music that I hear. Okay, okay. A uh, couple more questions left. Who's the best player you've ever played against? Um, best player I've ever played against, well, um, probably um, Douglas Costa was a great challenge, you know, when we yeah. when we played uh, Bayern at home, and um, yeah, I think it's probably top three players uh, in the in the world in his position, mm. and, and, and the way he goes past players is, is amazing, you know, and I think it, for me is is um, a great challenge you know and I'm very I feel very lucky to have the opportunity to learn and to play against this kind of players. Well speaking of the Champions League you touched on it then obviously Arsenal are going to be playing Barcelona you, you, you played in the academy there you're from Barcelona that's mm -hmm. true isn't it so is that going to be an emotional return for you or are you just going to be all business on the day and not think mm -hmm. about that? Obviously all business on the day you know for me I was really really happy when the when the draw came out and saying that we were going to Barcelona, I got all my family, all my friends over there, so that they're sure they're going to come and watch me. And 
you know, for me it was a it was a great feeling. I knew it was going to happen one day, you know, exactly, because yeah. we, there's always these chances in the in the draws. But as I say, for us it's a big challenge, and uh, we're really looking forward to it. Okay. Last thing to talk to you about is yeah. I have a team in a series on my channel called the Selfie Squad, and when oh, I go and do videos with footballers, yeah. that allows me to put them in that team. So you now qualify for my Selfie Squad. So welcome, right. welcome to the club. Thank you. Um, you've got a lot of competition though, right back. Okay. okay. So I want you to tell me why I should play you because this is your competition. Carl Walker. Nathaniel Klein, Gary Neville, okay. and Danilo from Real Madrid. So there's some good right backs there. You give me a quick pitch. Why should Bellerin be my starting right back? <laughs> you should back? just put me on the bench, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I don't know. What are you going to um, bring to the team? I'm just going to bring young and fresh air to the team. Okay. You know, I think sometimes, um, yeah, young players bring that bit of fresh air that a team needs. So maybe being the youngest can help you there. You know what, I'm going to give him a chance, he's earned it. Yeah, Hector, sure. thank you very much for joining me, mate. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Appreciate thank it. you very Cheers. much. Thank you. Right, guys, that's it for today's video. Big thanks to Hector Bellerin for joining me. Make sure you drop a like on it if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Until then, don't go changing.